In this video, we're going to look at how to take a logo and put it into an object that's not perfectly square and make it fit just right. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop Elements. And I'm going to go ahead and get out my first image right now. now let's get that open. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top and select Image and Transform and Distort. Image, Transform and Distort. Now I'm going to grab the square in the center and let's look at what you can do with the Distort feature in Photoshop Elements. It's pretty crazy stuff. Alright, I think that's enough. Let's bring our next victim. And this time I'm not going to draw... Uh, grab the center square but let's grab the corner squares and let's see what we can do with distorting this image you know some women you can just do whatever you want to them and they're still beautiful hi there my name is info uh, you want to grab a cup of coffee okay maybe not well info puppet what can i do with this in real life i'm going to show you right now so here's a box truck let's say there's a company, let's say, I don't know, called uh, Info Puppet. And uh, the company wants to see what their logo is going to look like on the truck. So left click, hold and drag. And now I'm just going to scale it down. And I'm just using the regular scale tool right now. I'm not using this store. And uh, I just want it to fit right on the box truck. And then I'll click on the green check mark. And that's uh, pretty good. So now I'm going to switch to the distort feature. You know, what I really want you to look at right now is look at the line on top of the text box. Let's look at that, like uh, this line right over here. And look at the line of the box truck. So if you got those parallel, then your aspect ratios are probably pretty good and it's going to look good. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I think I might do some final touch-ups. And that's basically it. Please push the subscribe button. Thank you again from Info Puppet.